Hey everybody, Danny Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. Going to take a look here at the Nokia Lumia 1020. Full unboxing here. Of course, this is from AT&T. Device goes on sale July 26th. That's Friday for you guys. Uh, for $299 on contract, $699 roughly off. Uh, the device comes in a normal AT&T box. Almost nothing unusual there. But they have included a couple other interesting little things here. So we have this really nice... AT&T Quick Start Guide. This is the first thing you should be greeted with when you open up your device. And it's actually pretty comprehensive. I'm not going to show you everything on this because you can do that in your own time. But you get to see you have your Nokia Pro camera explained, browsing the web, here navigation, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So they're all just quick little steps about how to start things. And there are like subsections. It's actually pretty nicely laid out. Over here, I have this nice little card, learn to take great photos. It's basically, I think, uh, you know, advertising for that photography website we highlighted with Nokia. And so you just tap the NFC tag here and I should open up the browser on your phone, which is kind of a cool addition. And there it is, a Nokia Lumia 1020 in matte yellow, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you know, overall, highly anticipated device. Hopefully it's going to do real well with a lot of people. I'm very excited about, you know, using this. In fact, I'll take it, I'm taking it to the city today to do some photos. Um, speaking of, let's look at that camera. There's a 41 megapixel shooter right there. That is a BSI sensor, optical image stabilization. Also, it's a larger sensor and mechanical shutter. You also have a xenon flash and LED flash to make sure that if you do have to do low light photos, you'll get exceptional quality. Go around to the back here. You'll see these two dots, that's for the wireless recharging plate. Uh, one of the reasons why this device is thinner than you know previous Nokia Lumia flagship devices is because this doesn't have wireless uh, charging built in. So you add a back plate to it, makes contact there, and then you can do the wireless recharge. Now it's unclear if AT&T will have those in stock this Friday. Uh, so far we're hearing that they're, they're not in the inventory, but they may be coming down the road. Going to the bottom here, you have your speaker, grill, micro USB, and if you're wondering what that is, that is actually for your lanyard slash wrist strap, which is a pretty cool addition. Uh, you know, a lot of point shoot cameras come with that, and it's a really good thing since you're leaning over ledges sometimes and stretching your arms out. So you want to make sure that thing is attached to you. Uh, coming around to the side here, volume up, volume down, power, and camera button. You know, it's your shutter. Uh, that turns on the camera as well as, as the half focus and all that kind of stuff. Going around to the top here, you have the uh, microphone. There is, uh, it's one of the microphones, it's actually I believe three on here, which are the high amplitude audio captures. Uh, over here you have your 3.5mm headphone jack and your micro SIM door. Of course this does not have micro SD expansion, but it does come with 32 gigs of memory, which isn't too bad. There is a four and a half inch AMOLED display, which I'm a big fan of. That is as opposed to the Lumia 920, which has an LCD display. So the difference here is AMOLED is actually thinner. So I would allow them to sort of make a, once again, a thinner device. Um, it's also, I think, a little bit more contrasty. And I think it actually looks really good on these kind of phones. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but that is the hardware there. You can see that matte yellow. You know, compare it to the Lumia 920, and it's definitely a big difference. And when you look at the, we'll do the size here, you can also see, basically the 1020 just doesn't have that hump, right? That whole curvature on the back thing. And so because of that, it is significantly thinner and lighter. And that's actually kind of a big deal, I think, for a lot of people. And it should be a pretty good selling point for this phone. It does feel really nice in the hand. And I do like the matte feeling of the yellow. That's pretty cool. Digging further into the box, though, let's see what else we got here. We have a free 20 by 30 poster. So this is some sort of Nokia, I don't know, offer <laughs> for a poster thing. I'll read it later. $22 value, but you just quickly scan the QR code. Not a bad idea if you're taking a lot of photos with this. There's a micro sim, of course. This is kind of interesting. The sound of blur free photo. So when you use the 1020's camera, you can actually kind of hear it. There's actually stuff moving in there. And then what they actually explain here is that gentle rattle you hear when shaking your Lumia 1020 is the sound of blur free photos. This is basically just a warning message explaining, well, it's actually not a warning, but it's, it's kind of telling you 
that the noise in your device is totally normal. Uh, it's not to freak out, it's not broken or anything like that. That That is basically the sophisticated camera technology behind it. So just kind of a cool thing that they did. And then you have your product and safety. There is your micro USB charger, standard we've been seeing from Nokia. There is the wrist lanyard, which is kind of cool. I'm very excited about actually using that. And your micro SIM adapter. So that is pretty much it for the 1020. Although we do have, look at that, the optional camera grip accessory, which you just slide in. And there you go, and it bumps right in. So this camera grip, it costs, I think, about 50 or 60 bucks, and it gives you a dedicated shutter button. And what's interesting, it's not like you see how it's positioned, that's not over the current shutter button. This actually is an electronic one, so by connecting it through the device, this actually takes over. Uh, you have your battery over here. I don't know if I even have any juice in this. Oh, I do look at that. So it shows you how many. Uh, I have three out of four, so this is actually pretty fully charged. And micro USB for recharging and a tripod mount right there. And there you go with the camera. Look at that blends right in, all nice and black. It's actually kind of a cool addition if you think about it. You can have the yellow phone, but when you're taking photos, you'll be less conspicuous, you know, flashing a giant yellow device around. So it's actually kind of a good idea perhaps to get black. Um, let's save. Can I turn it on? And yeah, for some reason, it's actually not turning on. Oh well, we'll take a look at that later and see what's going on with it. But there you go, Nokia 1020. We'll have more information on this later this week and of course a full review in the coming days. Take care, everybody.